today we're going to do a little on-site welding. Our neighbor next to us asked us to do a little welding to fix this bumper guard. What a bumper guard is, and you back up so it won't break your cement here into pieces. We're just going to put this back together, weld it with 7018. We're going to be using Asphronius on a 110, 120. The only reason we're running this on 110, 120 is because uh, we don't have access to 240. We're going to be running on about a 100 foot extension cord, 12 watt, 12 3 gauge on the cord, 120 amps in 7018, so let's get to it. Before we can weld this, we need to remove this old weld right here. Remove all this. We're welding it with 7018. The reason we gotta remove the old weld is we don't run over lumpiness. It look all pregnant worms. It's about good quality work. So we're gonna remove all this weld right here with a Weiler hard rock quarter inch disc. And then we're gonna get rid of this rust. We wanna make sure it's not gonna get porosity. So we're gonna get rid of all this rust down here, clean about half inch back on both sides. And we're gonna clean a little spot out for our ground to hook hook up to so we have a good arc start and not be messing with our ground. So we cleaned up the edge right here, about a half inch back. You don't wanna gouge into the metal and make it weaker. We're not trying to take the metal out. It's okay if we take a little bit of metal out on this edge because you're gonna have weld right here and it's gonna tie in. But it's all good, nice and clean. We got most of the rust off. Same thing on this backside, all the rust off. All the rust off up front, good for our ground. And uh, when we put it, bring this together, it's gonna be nice and uniform when we close this up like this. And we're just gonna start right here and run a 7018 all the way across. Today we're running 7018 eighth inch diameter rod. We're running this machine on 110, 120 volts, remember. We're running at the max 120 amps on this 110, how we got it plugged in. We're gonna go ahead and weld this joint out with 7018 eighth inch, so let's get to it. So all I'm gonna do is just push this together. Uh, that's all it really needs. So we have to strike our arc on this side of the plate. Why? Because we can't get, there's no ground on this side. It don't transfer over to it. So we have to start on this side of the plate and then bridge it over and go back and forth. All right, then we'll just go ahead and put one more tack down. We're gonna have two tacks total. Come on, we're bridging it. All right, perfect. We got that one done. We're gonna jump over here, um, tack this side. It's gonna be way easier because we're connected. We got ground here. On the top edge, I'm holding it for a little while or getting a little underfill on top. So I'll probably run another another layer of 7018 all the way across and do a little weave back and forth to uh, fill in that top toe of that. Really, I'm dragging, I'm pulling it, the rod towards me because I like blowing a little bit towards me. But I like blowing towards me because if you start close to you and, and pull away from you, it gets harder. So if you start out away from you already and pull towards you, you're, you're more comfortable when the rod's coming towards you because you're getting closer to your body. And I'm just making sure I'm burning in on both sides. This puddle's burning in good on, on both toes, top and bottom. All right. It don't matter if we melt away the top edge because we're going to put another pass up there. Our, our main goal is making sure we're burning in good. That's all we're doing. We're gonna come right into this feed right here. We're gonna grind it out and we're going to do a little circle around there and let it pause for a second, let it fill up. All right, so we got a little bit undercut here. All the top, I was I paused for a while on top, but uh, it's, we we a little bit too a little. It's just wide weave, so we're going to grind a groove right here all the way down. The reason we're grinding a groove in here is so this so this rod this bead can lay a little bit 
flatter and not be crowned up as much. So this is the reason why we uh, put a groove in there. See how nice and, it laid nice and flat, it's not real crowned up. That's what we want right there. That's how you fix stuff. Everyone messes up, every job is different. So you gotta mess up stuff to learn, but you gotta know how to fix it. So we're, don't forget guys, we're giving this machine away. Um, this machine can run on 110 or 220. Today we ran it on a 100 foot cord, 12-3 gauge, uh, 110 we ran this on and it purred at 120 amps with 7018 all day. So make sure you guys uh, subscribe to our channel. Uh, camera guy is going to put a link below. We're giving this machine away, so definitely enter. Thank you guys on Man Cub. See you around next time. Learning is key.